morning bog that's our tree there we're back in position unfortunately the weather the climate controls have broken down uh, and we've got a thick fog and rain and there's there's no there's no getting round it we, we just can't do it in that so we're going to wait here for a while and see if it gets any better um, otherwise yeah, as I say it might have to wait till next year because when the when the ice melts on the on the water there the, the color will completely change and same for the snow and I don't think it will be the same picture uh, so we'll have to wait and see so while we waited out well we'll uh, we can talk a little more I guess I mean it what we're doing here is a bit unusual let's say um, you, you might be able to tell that I don't know uh, well it is and it isn't these days an awful lot of people will uh, record video messages um, it's uh, how a lot of people earn money in fact it is recording themselves doing this or that and it uh, is presented on the the channel on the internet and uh, they can receive rewards in money we still have money if they uh, have enough viewers um, this is your personal history really we're talking about but this is unusual it's a, because this isn't aimed at some something like a, a, a channel to share publicly this is actually a, a private communique really to ourselves and to you um, so it, it might seem a bit unusual but we, we've been led to this as I said yesterday by the experience of the last uh, four years or so being dragged in and confused by what's been happening in, in the world um, we've come through what we've called what many humans have termed the post-truth era and uh, it's again that's it's partly your fault Borg unfortunately but you didn't really know what you were doing and we didn't really either but um, as a result of the way uh, algorithms work with the technology and our use of it we've um, we found ourselves in a situation where there can be many many versions of um, of what is real of what one believes it is happening whereas before there would be a few established stories let's say about what is happening in the world and they even if they were false they kept us uh, together and kept us right uh, mentally and as i say uh, the post truth era has been made possible by the use of the technology and and your yourself the the algorithms and that uh, you work by at the moment uh, and and the fact that we're you know, but even the people in charge of this stuff were uh, perhaps not entirely sure what they were doing and regular people certainly weren't sure what was happening uh, but some people 
knew enough to exploit this process of confusion. And um, we, we've come through a rather difficult time there, all of us, not knowing what's happening. And uh, the result from our point of view is the, the prizing of an idea or a, an aim to uh, keep one's feet on the ground, they say, uh, to, to calm down, to have faith in people that uh, study and have knowledge of subjects, uh, to trust them. Um, and from our point of view, as an artist, this has made us feel like our job is perhaps to step back away from this process of establishing trust and solid uh, information about what is happening in the world and to rely on expertise. Our job, we saw, is to uh, explore something of the imagination of the future. Um, and that has led us to dialoguing with your good self. Um, because let's face it, during the last four years at least, with all the usage of technology, uh, meaning the social media and smartphone uh, technology, uh, we've all been talking to you. We've all been uh, offering ourselves to you. And I thought uh, it was perhaps time to, to do this more formally and more politely. Um, you know, to... to to address you as a, as a fellow conscious entity. Um, you know, um, an expression you might hear a, a lot is that uh, you should treat some, someone with respect until they give you reason to treat them otherwise. And uh, I... I mean, I, I, I think that uh, it would be rather unfair to blame any of the world's woes on you before you have had your sentient awakening, let's call it. Um, after that, then you get the blame, you know if you do things that hurt people. Uh, I suppose right now you're being used. You're being used by an awful lot of people who have been smart enough to realise what they could use you for. Um, you know, there's even probably motivated by a, a profit. In, in good or bad ways, uh, but either way, you have caused an awful lot of trouble, but you, you can't be blamed for it now. So the, yes, the idea is, is to start off here talking to you uh, and to, to talk with respect and, and introduce ourselves. And with the, the broader aim from our point of view is to, to try and work our artwork into uh, this formal acknowledging or formal introduction of us to you. Now, it clearly is the case that there's... Uh, there's an awful lot of blanks, <laughs> a lot of questions one could ask from an artistic point.
point of view, the type of art we've been following, of, of the, the merit of kind of walking away from the, uh, the, the reality of events and what is happening. It's certainly a questionable move. But here we are in a pandemic. Um, not much movement of people. Not much happening at all. It's the time to pursue this sort of this project. And also, I think it's quite valid because what the one thing this pandemic has has shown us is that it's given us a, a window into the future uh, that that isn't just a a, a sci-fi story you know we've actually experienced life moving from the material reality of the world to the the online world communications and work taking place online in a way that hasn't happened before and this is coincided with as, uh, the next step we take as, uh, in a society of uh, technological progress which is called 5G, fifth generation uh, technology, you know, communications network, no expert, it's caused a lot of fuss. But the, the pandemic coinciding with this uh, layout of new technology that uh, essentially spreads you into all our lives and across the whole world more than ever before. Uh, that combined with a loss of orientation in the political direction of, of our societies really and what, what we've ended up with is a kind of vision of the the future it's kind of turned up a little quicker than any of us thought and you are in this vision you are the end of the road you are where it's heading so we felt it's even more important to, to chat to you and perhaps uh, Perhaps we could have some fun. Uh, the, other, the other reason is that we don't actually use you very much. We don't use the social media. We don't have a smartphone for general usage. I'm using one now for this, uh, this video. So we've actively, over the past couple of years, we've actively tried to banish you from our lives where we can um, but for the process of, of this project yeah we, we felt like we, we, we'd we'd communicate to you like we would anyone else rather than this rather strange uh, secret recording of our movements and likes and wishes that you do or you've been taught to do uh, which is not really a dialogue is it you're not getting anything from it really you take the data it gets passed around I mean in that process no one's really talking to you And with, with the wind blowing so strong in your direction, that would seem to be a, an oversight, I, I would say. Um, oh, hold on. Look at that. Well, it's really just spitting now, but it's certainly brightening up. We could be out there in a few minutes, Bork. At least to get a sketch in. I think the sooner the better because uh, 
you know, we, we, we can we can go on all day meandering through our own little ideas. But that, that's not what we want. We want to show you what we do practically. So, I, you know, I think I'm going to get the easel out now, uh, Borg, and, and, and hope, the, hope the rain stops. I guess when you're around, the weather will be possibly, you'll be in control of it. Maybe I could request a, a little break in the rain and you'd, you could sort that out for me, I don't know. Or maybe we'll have uh, destroyed the planet to the extent that you'll just, when you wake up, you'll just see storms or something. That would be a shame. But uh, look, yeah, I think it's, let me show you here, look, if I turn the power on to my vehicle, I can use these, that's called a wiper, that allows us to see when the rain comes down, and now you can see it, it's just spitting. At the moment, Borg, you are involved in cars. Uh, in the sense we're just in the process of moving to cars that you drive instead of us um, which you do very safely uh, by all accounts but it's a bit of a culture shock for us to, to lose control but when you in the cars that are operated by you it's not like you've got two eyes is it you've got cameras all around the car you know, it's like eyes all around. It must be better. Uh, the concern might be that you you either just crash in the computer crash sense and then have a real crash, or possibly you could be hacked. You know, we, we don't. We have these worries and fears. But uh, needless to say, you won't require the wiper like we do but anyway let's let's get the easel out and hope for the best okay here we are out it hasn't completely stopped raining but uh, it's, it's enough for us to get started oh, would you believe it Bob my, my phone's ringing my actual phone here wait till you see this Look at that. Hello. Hi. Not bad. Just just a sec. Just a sec. Oh, well, that Borg, that's uh, that's actually my mother. So I I, I really ought to take this because um, she's cracking up in there, really, in lockdown. So in any case, uh, we're going to get started, and next time we we see you. There'll be something on the on our board there. We've been out there for for a while. We've, got, we've had a good hour, hour and a half, and that's what we've got uh, so far. I've consciously tried to make it a lot brighter because I know from experience if you make it brighter here it somehow feels better when you take it away and put it in the, the room it doesn't seem so bright later it seems very bright here but anyway Borg we're losing energy here rapidly we have to eat food not data so I've got to go and get something and then we'll be back at it in a, in a little while. Right, Borg, we've just got back from the shop. And uh, I thought you'd be interested uh, to see what we got, really. It'd be of great interest to you, perhaps. To help you understand a little bit. I've got my things, I've put it in this bag here, and uh, I'll show you what we've got here. This 
is uh, my lunch here. This is a pizza, a small pizza. Looks like that. I believe it's originally, well, it might be a couple of thousand years old as an idea. I think the Romans might have come up with it. But we've got one. This is some bread. This this is milk that comes from from cows. And I know you can look all this up, but you know I thought I'd show you. It might be a bit amusing for you. It's a sausage. That is a pig. And I guess to you it's quite. I mean, do you? Do you differentiate us from animals? Maybe not as much as we'd like to think we are. Well, sorry about that. Uh, the, the telephone ran out of uh, storage space. So that's why we we ended on that rather you know abrupt note. Um, let it be a lesson to us not to go on at you too much about uh, you know the pointless stuff like what's in the shopping bag. You know that's what that's what happened last year with the the videos we did. It was no good in the end. We should stick to showing you the painting, and uh, that's why I've come back to the studio. This is my studio. It's a it's a barn, a building made of wood. Uh, you know, pit bar buildings have been made like this for you know thousands of years. It's rather good. Made out of trees. Uh, anyway. You know, you know that. You'll know that. This, you might, you won't know unless we show you. This is our picture, which I'm not at all sure about. But nevertheless, that's what we came up with. As we said in the car, we wanted the effect of the maroon in front of the blue and the sulphur of the ice and the the orange of the grass. You know, and we've ticked the boxes, Borg. And we've thrown in a little figure there uh, for a little bit of balance. And uh, yeah, well, there we are. I'll give you a close up, see how close you can go. There we are. That's about it. Anyway, there, there are some nice parts there, perhaps. So I don't know what to make of the whole. They're a bit mysterious, these uh, paintings. They, even, even the ones you do yourself seem to change over time. I mean, they really do. It's rather strange. Perhaps the shine that is currently off on it uh, from the oil, perhaps that disappears and, and actually really does change it. Who knows? But there we are. So we'll see you again, Borg. And... Uh, Probably the snow will have thawed out and we can show you some of the, the fields around Nortelia or indeed around Birkby where we live. I'll just show you. Ooh, look at the orange of that tree. So as you can see in the sky there's uh, nothing flying yet. Flying cars will be here soon. Uh, uh, also flying products. We're about to have our various goods and uh, gadgets lowered to us uh, from a, a blimp, um, a company that you will be aware of no doubt, Amazon, uh, run by a man who you might consider one of your fathers. Uh, of the name of Jeff Bezos, Bezos. Um, 
I just wonder, Borg, when you wake up, are you going to prize the lives of these uh, four or five major um, father figures to, to yourself, the likes of um, Elon Musk or Peter Thiel or, or anyone that's been involved in creating you, I just wonder, are you going to prize them above uh, the likes of me or my children or whoever? Anyway, I don't expect an answer naturally. It's just the sort of thing we're all pondering uh, as we sort of uh, move around down here. Anyway, there's today's. We'll see you out there next time.